Hey video fans, it's Mancini here. There are many videos online promising you $100,000 a year with no experience or by doing a simple certification. But is that the reality in 2024? Let's put anecdotal evidence aside and let's look at the hard data. That's why I pulled salaries from 1,000 job postings from sites like LinkedIn and Indeed for data analyst roles in the US and Canada. With this data, we can answer the question more accurately. So in this video, let's look at the progression of salaries from junior to senior roles, and let's compare as well the US to Canada when it comes to data analyst roles. To kick things off, let's look at the chart, which represents the average salaries for data analyst roles in the US and in Canada. The pay scale is in US dollars, both for US and Canada. So Canadian dollars have been converted to US dollars. The 1,000 jobs have been pulled from LinkedIn, Indeed, and other job posting sites in February 2024. Lastly, keep in mind that this chart has not been adjusted for things like cost of living or taxes, which may represent a big difference between the US and Canada. Let's start with the junior analyst role in Canada. As you can see, the average salary is about $42,000 US. As you can see, there's already a very big difference between the junior data analyst role in the US and in Canada. In the US, $60,000 a year, depending on where you live, is a pretty decent salary. In Canada, $42,000 a year in US dollars is also a livable wage and is pretty decent. The quality of life that you can get for both salaries in the US and Canada for the junior role is pretty similar. But as you can see already, the $100,000 a year with no experience, just with a simple certification, is not true anymore. All those videos selling you the hype you know, it's very, it would be very surprising if you transition career or you just start, you're just starting as a junior data analyst, you wouldn't be able to make $100,000 a year in 2024. Of course, you always have the outlier scenario. It's possible, but for, you know, more than 50% or I'd say even 80% of people out there just starting, you have to go through the seniority levels and you can expect to start at about $60,000 a year in the U.S. That, of course, is if you're not living in cities like San Francisco or New York, where you could be making $100,000 a year, even if it's your first role. Let's now move on to the intermediate data analyst role. And here you can see the salaries for the US and Canada. For Canada, you can expect about $60,000 a year. And in the US, you can expect about $80,000 a year. So when you start your career at the junior role, which is typically two years and less, you can expect to make about 60k but then after two years you can expect you know to bump 20k 25 percent 30 percent which is pretty significant and this bump is consistent across the us and canada so in canada as well you can expect about 25 to 30 percent bump after two years again at the intermediate level i think the quality of life between the us and canada with these salaries so 60 and 80k is pretty much equivalent because obviously when you spend in canada you spend in canadian dollars and things are generally cheaper because of that. Let's now move on to senior roles, and that's where there will be a little surprise for you. In the US, you can expect a bump from about $85,000 a year to about $115,000 a year when you become senior. Typically, senior roles will be available to you after about four to five years experience, which is the minimum required. But now let's look at Canada. The bump from intermediate to senior in Canada for data analyst roles is only about $7,000 a year. So you would go from about $60,000 a year to about $67,000 a year after four to five years experience. This difference is crazy. You would make almost, almost double the salary in the US than you would in Canada for a senior data analyst role. And that's where you really start to see the discrepancy when you become a data professional in Canada versus in the US. The U.S. has a big need of these roles, and there are many industries that leverage data professionals. In Canada, it's a smaller market. And because of that, you can see that these senior roles have a lot of competition from senior data professionals, and it's driving kind of the salaries down. But what's the moral of the story? It's that if you can move to the U.S. or to Canada, all other factors left aside, you would be way better off in the U.S. as a senior data analyst. Now let's look at things that you can do to increase your salary as a junior, intermediate, or senior data analyst. The first thing that you can do is move to a big city. 
whether it's Toronto, San Francisco, New York, because those big cities offer the highest salaries for data analysts, regardless of seniority. The second thing that you can do, which is very surprising, is to try to find a remote job. Surprisingly, remote jobs are paying way better than non-remote jobs. That may be an indication that the companies promoting remote work are also offering higher salaries. The third thing that you can do is really work on your skills. Here's a chart showing the salary that you can expect based on different skills. So picking up those skills will allow you to reach higher salaries. In conclusion, I think that if you want to continue and focus on your data analyst career, you also need to be realistic with salaries. The $100,000 a year with no experience and just doing a simple certification after learning some SQL is not realistic anymore, except if you're ready to move to San Francisco or New York. Also keep in mind that this is just an average. So some people are doing way more and some people are doing way less, but it's just to give you an overall overview of the job market for data analyst roles. I would love to hear about your experience and your thoughts in the comments below. And if this video added value, please like it and subscribe to my channel because there are many more to come. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.